I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. Hello, welcome everyone to our Diego Simeone recreation series, right? We lost Salta Vigo off camera, which was not great, but then we did beat Villarreal 5 1, which was great. And that leaves us currently nine points clear. So, 10 games to play, nine points clear. So, they've got, they've gained a little bit of ground on us, haven't they? When it was 12 and 12, and now it's 10 to play, only nine points. So, today's episode Liverpool away, Champions League, second leg, which we should see out, but you just never know when it's Liverpool and it's at Anfield and second leg, right? In foot manager, that's always a problem. And then Barcelona away in the league, which could cut our league down to six points, which gets a little nerve-wracking, doesn't it? So let's see how we get on. I expect this first one to be okay. It's the second game I'm slightly worried about, but we'll get into it. By the way, just so you know, the two goal, two of the three goals we conceded to Sato Vigo were like 25 yard plus one the strikes. They weren't even good, like, like well-worked goals, which is a bit, got a bit unfortunate with it, really. Uh, we'll say no complacency. 4-3-3, same team for them, isn't it? Almost exactly the same team. Any I like Tiago plays it out and Andreas gets to it, plays it to Umar Sadiq early on, runs away with it on the left hand side. He's going to play into Nicola Borella, plays it back to Renan Lodi. He's going to have a shot and it goes over the bar. Half time, no, no, we'll take that. We'll say, yep, your performance needs to keep up in the second half to the boys. I mean, we are pretty much in control of this game, even though we are gifting them control of the possession. They're not really in control of the game. And Nicola Brello with the free kicks, whip it to the far post. Tell me where I was going to go up to it. Doesn't quite get that. Imar Sadiq gets it. Charles on the left. Does he get a cut back and cross? He gives it away, actually. Liverpool could count on us here. We've got players back. Jar Felix. Yeah, we're pretty much set there, aren't we? We're looking in a pretty good position. What are you doing? Get back into the back line. Right, one fourth goes up. Salah gets it. He goes into the box, plays it across the Diaz to Fabinho. This is where the spare player, and it's gone in. So that sort of spare player in midfield that they get is what's just scored them the goal. So we're going to take that away from them, which leaves less on the counter, but we'll see. 3-1, it's not ideal. Going to make a change because we're clearly just not doing that well. Brinelli's going to go off and... Oh, no, we can't take him off. Ooh, um, Andreas can come off. We'll throw on Buindi on the left, and... Oh, I'm not sure actually about the other sub. Maybe we should leave it the same for now. This is for the sub is even made. They've got a chance here. They slide it through. We're going to get it back. Oh, Black's going to just send this. Oh, my Christ. What has he done? That was so close. Okay, Umar City's going to come off. And we're going to throw on Vettini up front. We just want to get somebody fresh up front. Right, apparently some players are struggling here. So, Lodi's one of them. Barella's another. Nico Brunner off. Koke on. We'll do that as a change. And maybe Singer off. And Joe Gomez at right back. Leaves us one more. Right, defensive tactic time. So we're going to go to that and that. And that, but then tell me everyone's going to come off with a mock specific player. I think we'll throw on Pats and Daka then as all oh, we can't do more changes. Right, so let's make sure then that Vettini is the one that tracks back slightly more. And hopefully that should see us out, especially having a two-goal lead. Corner for Liverpool. Shimikas whips it in far post, headed away. But when got get to the first one here, the cater. They force it back to Henderson, who's got loads of time to Milner. Salah, I think Salah might have been offside. I hope he was. I, I think Salah's just offside. This will get ruled out, but we'll see. Yes, we needed that because that could have been a dangerous last 10 minutes. Still might be. And that is going to do it. It's going to be 3-1 on Aggregate, 1-0 defeat at Anfield, but 3-1 overall on Aggregate. That is a brilliant two-legged affair for us. Like, we did lose 1-0 to a long-range goal that didn't really have any business going in, but it's a really good performance for us, and we're into the next round. That's fantastic stuff. Right, okay. See you in a few days for the huge game against Barcelona. Here we go, the second game of the episode and a big one against Barcelona. I think, honestly, if we win this, like, look at that. If we lose it, it's a six-point gap. Oh, my God. How are they coming back on us? This is so frustrating. They've got severe away coming up, but they've got a lot of winnable games. They've got a lot of away games, maybe, but... I'm getting slightly nervous now if, uh, if we were to lose this. Like, we need to avoid losing this if we can. Uh, let's get the first team out. Okay, we'll say, go to the fans, and let's see what they've got going for them here. They're going to play a 4-3-3. Towards Lewandowski and Bele. It's a good team, but like whenever they've got Busquets, like, I feel like we have to win. They've got Jordi Alba, who must have plummeted his physicals a little bit as well. Only highlight for Barca. Pedri gets it, plays it into Dembele. Dembele cuts inside to Pedri. Plays it through. Lacroix has cleared away. 
Sadiq, Andreas. We're going to just hopefully survive this attack. Hopefully it's not like a long range goal. Because they're struggling to break. They're struggling to break us down. You can see that clearly, right? They couldn't find anybody through. Now we've just given it away there. But you can see how oh, they're really struggling to break through. They need a mistake like that. But we've won it. Andreas. Oh, he's giving it away again. Just get back in your shape, lads. They can't create anything against us at the moment. I see. We don't want that. Oh, no. It's gone over the top. Annoying. Like, they couldn't create anything through us. They had to go over us. And it's a shame that they're able to get over, to be honest. Like, we shouldn't really have conceded that. One or two. Pass up. I like it. Eric Garcia's got it. Plays back to the keeper. They're going to have a lot of time on it because we're not going to press them too hard for it. Dion gets it to Pedri. Pedri takes a touch at his feet. He's got options. Got Dembele, who's 1v1 here against our fullback. Copley doesn't go a pen. It might be a pen or it could be a free kick. <sighs> Penalty. Lewandowski. 2 0 Barca. Could be game over. Half time, 2 0 down. We'll say, show me something else. I mean, Wilfred Seagull's on a 6.3. That looks like a potential change. Left back maybe as well. But let's do that. Let's see what happens with this first. If they scored to make it to three, it's going to be a case of just getting our best players off and resting them. There's just no point in them wasting their time. Right, they don't score it. So let's go. Let's go say Sam on the right. Let's go. Gutierrez left back. And let's go with Kone as the left CDM. And just see if that does anything for us. We saw this could be an actual highlight, actually. This uh, I didn't think it was going to be straight after their, their missed free kick. Oh, City Kids over. I like it. But seven left on the side. I oh, left there right. Pedro goes back to the goalkeeper there. Come on, the boys. Can we step up a little bit here? Gary Garcia's got it. Plays it into De Jong, who's open to Pedri, who was clearly open there. Lewandowski's good. A bit of movement from them. Good goal from Barca. 3 0. That is going to be game over. We'll take off the strikers. And, oh, I don't know. Maybe Jude Bellingham. Or Jamal Musiala, maybe. Let's, oh, we can't. That's last two subs anyway. There you go. Right, I can only do. I'm just going to skip to the end of the game. And I'll see you at the end. We'll see where the league table is at after this game finishes, what the score ends up being. And it could be quite bad. I'll see you in a bit for the end of the game. Unless we start coming back, of course, but I don't think we're going to. There's no point of sitting through this 3-0 defeat at this point. And they have it. 3-0 defeat at Barca. That is not the most ideal scenario at all. And we'll see where that leaves us in the league table. Obviously, that means we've lost the head-to-head, -head, I think, with Barca now, right? Because we beat them at home with 3-2. So they've got the head-to-head -head on us, which is a slight shame. But they are another three points behind. So they're still quite far behind, really. It's Real Madrid that are the problem. And play Real Madrid uh, away pretty soon, in fact. Because when we play them away, is it next game? No, game after. Well, the next away game. So Batista at home, and then play Real Madrid away. So I think next episode is really easy, isn't it? We come back for Real Madrid and whoever we get in the Champions League. So that's going to be a surprise. I don't know what we're going to get. When is the draw, actually? Can we see what the draw is? 20 seconds. Is there a game before then? 24. Okay, I'll tell you what then. Before the end of the episode, what we'll do is we'll come back and see who we get the Champions League draw for the quarterfinal. Okay, here we go then. Champions League draw. Who are we going to get? Yes, you will play Benfica. Bayern will play Atletico Madrid, so that's who we get. Are you get Newcastle in it still. Interesting. And then if we get past them, we Real Madrid or City in the semi-finals. There you go. It's going to be Bayern Munich in the next round. Then if we get past them, Real Madrid or Manchester City. All I can say is big thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.